Hey there, I'm Ira Weissman. And I'm Mike Fried. At The Diamond Pro, we have over 20 years of combined experience helping consumers get the most value buying a diamond. Are you planning on getting an engagement ring? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn some great tips on how to avoid getting ripped off. So first, let's talk about how to decide on what style and setting your engagement ring will be. Picking a setting depends largely on the wearer's personal preference. For example, the halo setting is made up of smaller diamonds circling a larger center stone. This setting can be hard to clean, even harder to resize, and a wearer with an active lifestyle runs the risk of losing the smaller diamonds. In the midst of buying an engagement ring, these are the details that most people tend to overlook. When searching for a diamond, most people seem to dwell on the four C's. Cut, carat, color, and clarity. We like to divide these into two distinct parts, the characteristics you want to see in the diamond and those that you want to avoid. I always recommend focusing on a quality cut over anything else. A diamond can be cut to take on various proportions and shapes. These proportions include table and depth percentage. How light travels through and reflects from the facets within a diamond is dependent on these proportions. Shallow and deep cut diamonds allow light to escape, losing their sparkle, appeal, and value. Simply put, more attention to a diamond's cut has a greater impact on its beauty. It's important to note the difference between diamond shape and diamond cut. The shape refers to the diamond's outline, such as round, brilliant, or pear shape. Cut refers to the facet's symmetry, depth, and reflective qualities. So while a heart-shaped diamond may be cut shallow or deep, dull or brilliant, the heart shape will remain constant. Second to cut quality, you will want to buy the largest carat weight diamond that will fit within your budget. When people boast about their diamond, they will usually mention the carat weight. But keep in mind that a high carat weight does not always translate to a high quality diamond. A poorly cut yet higher carat diamond can look smaller than an ideal cut lower carat diamond. Now there is absolutely no reason to overpay for color when buying a diamond for your engagement ring. The trick here is to choose a setting that will work best with the color of the diamond. White diamonds are graded on a color scale which ranges from colorless to a light tint of yellow or brown. However, different color grades can still appear the same to the naked eye if mounted properly. A lower color diamond can cost 30% less while looking exactly the same in the ring. Another area where you can sacrifice a little to save a lot is clarity. Clarity measures the density of imperfections in a diamond. The highest grade on the clarity scale, flawless, is awarded to the rarest and most expensive diamonds. A lower clarity diamond that is still clean to the naked eye will look identical to a flawless stone. This is how you'll get the best value finding the lowest clarity diamond available that is still eye clean. Unfortunately, you can't know if a diamond will be eye clean by looking at the certificate alone. Previously, it was almost impossible to inspect for clarity online. Thanks to modern image technology from companies like James Allen and Blue Nile, examining clarity when diamond shopping online is now possible. When taking the four C's into consideration, you will also want to ensure the diamond has been certified by a reputable lab. The lab will evaluate the diamond, take measurements, and grade on the four elements that we spoke about today. We do recommend buying AGS or GIA lab-graded diamonds as they are the most respected labs in the industry. Before you go, we want to test out your eyes a little bit. Here are two diamond rings. One ring costs $2,200, while the other is almost double, costing $4,000. Can you tell the difference between the two? Take a second to guess which one is more. Take your time. It's okay. I can wait. This F-color flawless diamond set in platinum is the more expensive ring, costing $4,000, compared to this HSI-2 in white gold, which is almost half the price. No one wants to start off their engagement with a feeling of being ripped off. Always remember that our team of experts at the Diamond Pro is here to teach you how to spot a scam. We've worked for years going undercover as engagement ring shoppers, scoring each jeweler on price, customer service, and more. Before you buy an engagement ring, check out our reviews and know that if you contact us, our team will personally help you find the perfect engagement ring. Again, I'm Ira Weissman. And I'm Mike Fried from The Diamond Pro. Thanks for watching.